ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, girls and boys, boys and girls. Welcome back to our channel, Inspirational Minutes with David. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and let you know that our channel is back on. Yes, get the book, get the book, get the book. Then that's your book, a memoir of a man who's been mentioned a sleeper in all book formats. Happy Labor Day. <laughs> Happy Labor Day. Hope your extended weekend, before you go back to the plantation, hope your extended weekend been good. Happy Labor Day. Let's, let's get it started. Oh, yeah, that part. Well, happy Labor Day. Talk to you about some things. Today, about inspirational minutes for David today. It's going to be short and sweet. I'm in all white just to represent Labor Day, so I hope you like the apparel that I chose. Hey, listen. The name of this inspirational ministry with David is called Seer. D C R S E E R. Okay. So, uh, what is a seer? Let me do this. What is a seer? A seer is a person. A person who is supposed to be able to see through supernatural insight to see what the future holds. So, naming this inspirational means for David is the seer of the the seers. Because uh, we have a people who help run this, this world, I should say. I call them seers. They pronosticate and predicted, you know, the, the JEB back in, uh, I think it was back in 2015, 2016. You know, uh, yeah. Bill Hates. So, uh, who, uh, the, the captain of a of, of the deep pop world, you know, the deep population world. <laughs> Let's get right in there, right in there, and I want you to hear. The next pandemic, um, Bill Gates and the World Health Organization have announced when we will see the next pandemic, and they have a date for us. Uh, so get this on your calendar. Prepare, you know, plan your trips. Twenty twenty five. Next pandemic right now. We'll have more on that in a second. And but you'll remember Bill Gates and the World Health Organization previously held what was known as the 2001 event, Event 201, sorry, Event 201. Um, and it was about the two, Event 201 exercise. It was a simulation involving a coordinated global response to a coronavirus that they held in a simulation just months before COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. So they're pretty good at predicting this stuff. Sears. I don't know how they pulled this off. Sears. Yeah, no, Fauci, remember Fauci told Trump in 2017 not that there could be, not that there might be, but there would be a pandemic during his presidency. Yes. Yeah, and Obama ran exercises for it during his uh, uh, presidency. Like pregnancy. During his pregnancy. <laughs> during his presidency. <laughs> <That's> so <laughs> beggary. <laughs> so they've just gotten together and they're doing it again now. Uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security and the World Health Organization. I wish I was making this up, but this is this is not a conspiracy theory. They did this, and they just conducted their next pandemic tabletop exercise in Belgium. It's called the Catastrophic Contagion. Hey, honey, where are you going this weekend? I'll go to Belgium. I got a conference. Oh, yeah, what's it about? Uh, it's called the Catastrophic Contagion Event. Oh, what are you guys going to be doing? Oh, we're just planning the next pandemic. Just getting everything ready. Get everything ready and locked up. And the new virus and vaccines. We'll have vaccines ready to go because that's how we do this. We, we plan it. And then we, of course, have the vaccines ready to go. And so then this is the video that Bill Gates put together along with the team, complete with simulated news reports like this. This is really what they're preparing for us. This video is called Get Ready. Watch. Mm. I, man, I, 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 I have no words. Very curious. Latin American country 
Police alerted the WHO of several outbreaks of a new infectious disease that's mysteriously appearing across the region. Simulations. Epidemic Enterovirus Respiratory Syndrome 2025. Oh, so that's the name, guys. Just write this down. That'll be the name of it, okay? It's Sears. Gonna, Sears. It's going to be called the Severe Epidemic Enterovirus Respiratory Syndrome in 2025 is when we'll see it, okay? Now, it says at the bottom this is a fictional scenario, but, but come on. <laughs> Truth is always in a joke. Six weeks alone, there have been 500 confirmed or suspected cases reported. The virus could cause a severe pandemic if early containment and mitigation efforts are not successful. The pandemic could be in this type of situation and trend uh, would be a risk for the global health security. Pandemics are inherently political, financial, and so much broader. We have not spoken on the leadership in the country. And I think that we need to be also very careful. We cannot decide a lot of things without the leaders being involved and admitting on that. Oh, really? That's an interesting point that she's making. Oh, instead of unelected globalists making decisions, she's saying, wait a minute, we need to have our leaders involved in this discussion. Wait, so the, the white guy was the um, dissenter, right. like the, the one we're supposed to say, oh, yeah, he's a naysayer, we don't agree with him, and right. she shuts him down. She shuts him down, okay. exactly, yeah, go ahead. There is no substitute for national leadership. It's important to support the local response of the national response. Training goes to the ears. Areas first, enabling them with the tools, protecting them, and if needs be, regional solidarity first. At this stage, communication is key, and communication should include not just scientists, but data, but also social, religious, and political leaders. Trust. This is an essential issue, and trust was broken among countries between populations and healthcare systems. Okay, enough of that. Trust been broken. I mean, you you broke trust with the people, the people of the world, especially the American people, years ago. And if people have not caught on by now, if you not have caught on with the foolery, the plans, demics, what the hell? I can't stress this enough. You should have been a critical thinker or started your critical thinking process three years ago. You saw what's happening around here. You saw it. We experienced it. A lot of people died too, right? It's a holiday. Happy Labor Day of your labors. Because they have many plans. Many plans for you. Many plans for you. For us. For you. For you. Please understand. The people run the world. The people of Freemasonry and secret societies are known as the 1%. Because they will do what the other 99% isn't willing to do. Every day people. Every day we're free. We're free to, to do whatever we choose. But in this day and age, enslavement, enslavement is a hundred, a hundred percent a choice. Still living in yesterday, yesteryear is a hundred percent a choice. Slavery, slavery of the, of the mind, slavery of your thoughts, Going by what you hear instead of going behind it, behind it and, and researching it. Because everything that was told you reversed, I promise that's where you're gonna find the truth. We choose everything. Everything which we research, know, believe, and follow, etc. We have all the information. Yeah. We have all of it. Within us. There, there, there's, no, there's no reason to be just stuck on stupid. It's right there. It's right there before you. So we have all the information. And books. 
at our fingertips. Phones, smartphones, which keep people on dumb. Smartphones, which keep people stupid. But look at the 99%. We focus on the Oscars. You know, the, the Oscars, or, 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 or what's going on with the, with the celebrities, or what's going on with who's who, uh, uh, social media. We focus on celebrity and fuality goals. We listen to music that, that, that diminish our health and mental psych. Oh, mental health is real. Who owns the music labels is irrelevant. It is you that must choose to listen to it. Look at all the consumers. All the consumers waiting in lines and overpaying on material, sim on material simply because of a logo which has been given value by no one but the consumer itself who owns these who own who owns these corporations is irrelevant it is you god damn it it is you who choose the brands and the corporations it is us doing this too ourselves the seal or the sears 20 25 get ready for the next one no one is enslaving you forcing negative music or news into your reality making you believe in a world of corruption and hell if they wanted you enslaved as i said before many bills before there would be no internet. If they wanted you dead, gone, missing, guess what, people? You wouldn't even be here. There's no end game or goal to mankind beyond mankind unmasking. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Is that dichotomy? Unmasking. Unmasking itself all revolutions can solely take place from within the human self but the people are under this grand charade that someone is directing this nightmare and seeking to enslave them and guess what the might the nightmare the nightmare keeps the dream going. You know, I stuttered a few minutes. I said the nightmare. When I think about it, it is a nightmare because it might just happen because you believe in it. Yeah, they have other things behind the scenes playing for you, playing for us to literally decimate us, to destroy us. Oh, the capital of the, of the deep pop. Oh. He's at it again. Been on it. The people have completely gotten lost in a comfort and luxurious ways of living. We let televisions, T E L L L I E, visions, and other people we consider wealthy tell us what to acquire <laughs> and what goals we should fulfill for our. Happiness. Everything we seek to acquire will be decimated, destroyed, or lost. Everything we seek to fulfill ourselves with cannot be done because we aren't even who we think we are. We're still pretending. Pretending this human orgasm. Something we're not even we're not even there. Something that we are not there, can never fulfill this ideal we have of ourselves. Pretending. We aren't what is doing. Everything that we can do, can do, has already been done by a higher self. You can call it God. You can call it the Most High. Buddha, Allah, 
or whatever name it, it does not matter. It really don't matter. The final chapter is realizing that it's you. It's you, and it always has been you. The greatest doing has already been done. Nothing you do or discover here will fulfill you because it's already here waiting for you to realize yourself and to remember. And while we don't want to be enslaved, 2025, do you remember 2020, March? We constantly seek outward confirmation, reassurance, guidance, etc., 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 through the very same tools we think are being used to enslave us. Our, our greatest fake expectations appear real. Fear is being powerful beyond measure. It's powerful. Your fear is powerful beyond measure because it's fake. Fake expectation. It's fake. You think it's coming, but it's fake. Appearing real. We're terrified of our dream being over, of being some delicate and insignificant being here that landed here by accident. When truly, you are precisely what has done it all. You are the destiny of your ship. You are the master of your destiny, I should say. The captain of your, the captain and captain and driver of your ship, of your life, of your space pad, of your own complete human journey. Human journey, mass rating as a human, but really a spiritual being. This is why, this is why the idea we hide behind of other intelligent life forms, you know, sky daddies, you know, sky daddies, someone come, there's no one coming to save you. And aliens, yeah, there are aliens, that's true. But it's not what you think it is. We seek our confirmation of ourselves where truthfully we are the God. We are the God and alien that we seek. We are the unknown to ourselves. The alien has not yet been discovered because you have yet to be discovered. I talked about this before. And what the human calls artificial intelligence is only itself witnessing the birthing of itself. You are the seer. Yes. The seer. S-E-E-R-S. -E -E the person who can see the future. The person that can see the future and know what the future holds. It's within you. And one of the most Scarce questions the human has with itself is how did I get here? How did I get here? Well, guess what, people? We're in the golden age where we live to see this question answered. And the answer may not be what everyone wants. But you are inevitable. It's going to happen anyway. Certain to occur is what that word means. You are an inevitable. Always has been. And truth is what it is. Not what you want it to be. And you either bend to it or continue to live a lot continuously. If you made it this far, and our inspirational minutes with David 
hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. Let you know our channel is back on. Uh, the book, The Dancing Woke, I talk, talk about it again. The Dancing Woke, a memoir of a man who's been mentally asleep. Please get the book. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for supporting me. I'm going to leave you in peace. I'm going to leave you in peace. Positive energy always create evolution. And like I say all the time, if I love myself, I love you. If you love you, I love myself. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. 2025. Sears. C. Oh, I'm sorry. S E E R S. Sears. Person who can see the future, but no, they talking about something else. They have a new name to it. Right? Right? Be informed. Do your research. Continue to evolve. Thank you in advance. I love you. <laughs> I love you in truth. Peace.